Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Elhamdülillah ve salatu ve selamu ala Resulillah ve ala alihi ve sahbihi ve sellem ecma'in. Allahümme enfa'ni bime allemteni ve allemini bime yenfa'ni ve zidni elman. İnneke l'alimul hakim. My topic today is about the differential diagnosis of the multifocal consolidation in the lung. With mention the main causes and some examples and the clues to the diagnosis. The main differential diagnosis, it is include uh, organizing pneumonia from lipoid pneumonia or Hodgkin lymphoma or chronic eosinophilic pneumonia or lung cancer or organizing pneumonia from unknown cause and it is called cryptogenic organizing pneumonia or idiopathic bronchiolitis obliterans organizing pneumonia. And in the clinical context of the bilateral area of consolidation are uh, increasing in over several weeks in spite of antibiotic and uh, suggest organizing pneumonia. In a chronic eosinophilic pneumonia, the characteristic pattern is bilateral consolidation involving the predominantly or exclusively the peripheral region of our lobes is apparent on the chest radiograph. And in about approximately 60% of patients on CT scan, about 85 to 100%. The diagnosis of lipoid pneumonia can be frequently made by on CT scan by presence of foci of uh, density within the area of consolidation. Here we have a chest X-ray, be a view patient with the cryptogenic organizing pneumonia and the batchy area of as we see here, batchy area of consolidation and the grand glass obesities involving the both lungs more to the left side. The patient is a woman patient because the breast here and it is consistent with the cryptogenic organizing pneumonia. Here is another patient with CT scan, axial high resolution CT scan. We have bilateral, peripheral, uh, and very bronchial uh, consolidation having the upper lobes and the patient with cryptogenic organizing pneumonia. Here we have a CT scan of patient with bilateral peripheral area of consolidation involving both lungs more to the right side in a patient with a chronic ozonophilic pneumonia. Here a patient with bilateral consolidation more to the right side uh, with some volume loss involving the middle lobe here and the lower lobes here more to the right side with consolidation and the grand glass obesities with some nodularity. And this patient is a bronchoalveolar carcinoma. The Air bronchogram, in general, air bronchogram is frequently seen in area of consolidation. Organizing pneumonia more 
frequently present with batchy non-segmental unilateral or bilateral area of consolidation. Chronic or xenophilic pneumonia, typically homogeneous consolidation involving mainly the peripheral lung region in the middle and upper lung zones. Our lobe sarcoidosis may result in very bronchial and less commonly peripheral area of consolidation. Multifocal consolidation can be seen in lymphoma. Thank you very much for listening. Hoping to see you soon in another talk.